Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Rohit from Informatica GCS and today we are going to discuss about data onboarding rules in Axon. So before proceeding further, let's see the agenda of today's video and in this part 1 we will be discussing about rules driven onboarding and examples of data onboarding rules and how to automate data onboarding configuration followed by quick demo. And in the successive video that is part 2, we will see how to certify assets in EDC and get it onboarded and also how to onboard lineage into Axon. So let's get started. Onboarding will happen in system level whereas if we recollect in the earlier versions that is still 7.0, it was happening in global level. Now we can choose rules for different systems and make it enable for onboarding or not. Now we can filter the EDC assets whereas previously there was no filtering at all for onboarding. Any glossary that is linked with a field or any glossary that is linked with a data domain irrespective of whether the customer needed or not the onboarding would happen but now through the onboarding rules we can filter the EDC assets. We can also apply data onboarding rules to download and preview data that you can use later to bulk upload manually. Major enhancement is that like previously till 7.0 it was always mandatory of a glossary to be linked for a physical field or a data domain for the onboarding to be happen. So this has been removed from 7.1. So glossary linking with the field or a data domain is not mandatory for automated onboarding. The data onboarding rule that we create in the admin panel can be applied to an Axon system and it can be enabled for an automated onboarding process. Objects that are onboarded from enterprise data catalog to Axon based on the following rule properties. As we could see we have a rules for onboarding and which has a context and a regular expression and also uh, additional criteria under rule configuration. So when it comes to context these are the objects which are going to onboard and this context value typically include parent type and a path. If the rules for the onboarding section contains multiple rows specified with the context and regular expressions, the data is onboarded based on the combination of all the conditions. And a regular expression with a pattern based on which the objects are being onboarded. So here in the onboarding rule configuration, we have additional criteria such as requires an associated glossary. If this option is enabled in the rule, the objects are onboarded if a physical field is linked to a glossary in ADC. Secondly, marked as an key data element. If this option is enabled, the objects are onboarded into an Axon system only if a physical field is connected to a glossary that is a key data element. Last but not the least, it's marked as an certified object. If this option is enabled, the objects are onboarded only if a physical field is marked as a certified object in EDC. And the last option is a confidence score. So this threshold value is based upon which the objects are being onboarded from EDC. And the value ranges from 50 to 100 and the default value is 95. And in the onboarding metadata, we can choose either a glossary name or a glossary description or a physical field name or a physical field description to get it onboarded as an attribute. Some more insights into an automated onboarding. To automatically onboard objects from enterprise data catalog, we must configure the data onboarding rules and either enable or disable these automated onboarding rules from the Axon system level. If this option requires an associated glossary is not enabled and a physical field is not linked to a glossary, then the default glossary specified in the admin panel is used for automated onboarding. The confidence score value is applicable if the requires an associated glossary option is selected. If the above option is not selected, the onboarded attribute has 100% confidence score. And also during automated onboarding, the system will be skipped if the default glossary is not found in case requires an associated glossary is unchecked. In case of segmentation, if the default glossary specified is of the same segment, it will be considered. And if a system belongs to a private segment, then dataset within a system must belong to a same private segment. Similarly, if a system belongs to an enterprise segment, then the dataset could be present either in a private or an enterprise segment. Now we will see a quick demo. This is my Axon UI for which I have logged in via super admin user that is John admin and let me navigate through my admin panel configurations where I have integrated with my EDC instance. Customize and configure system settings. From here we have to select enterprise data catalog from the group. Here I have populated all my EDC values such as host name, username, port and everything. 
Once this has been done, I have configured my data onboarding rule under operational management and data onboarding rules. I have created a sample data onboarding rule with a parent as a context and I have chosen my table name as my regular expression personal underscore data and I have selected one more additional criteria that is requires an associated glossary which means I wanted to onboard the data which has a business term association in EDC and I have created one of my axon system and associated this system to uh, available EDC resources so this is the resource name in EDC and then I have linked my axon system as we can see currently there were four physical fields in my axon uh, in my manage catalog links page and all are coming from a same parent and this is the parent name which we have configured in the onboarding rule and as we can see there is only one attribute p underscore id which contains a business term in EDC so now my expectation is whenever I execute an onboarder it should create one data set called personal underscore data and one attribute called p underscore id so currently within my system I do have only two data sets and once we ran the onboarder it should create three ds-3 or a new data set with the data attribute this is my axon server and I have just navigated through this asset onboarder and script so this is the place where we can execute the onboarder so here we have a script called onboard underscore assets dot sh now we have just executed this particular script so this script will create a bulk upload job where it will create a data set and an attribute and the last as an attribute to a physical field association now we can see the onboarder script has been completed and we could see there were three bulk upload jobs which are created one is for data set one is for attribute and the last one is for attribute to physical field relationship now we will go back to axon ui and see if the data set and attributes were created or not i will refresh my page over here yeah now we could see there is a additional data set which was created that is personal underscore data and our expectation is it should create only one attribute inside this data set yes and we could see only one attribute that is p underscore id which was created as part of onboarding this was all about data onboarding rules in axon and in case of any further queries or any suggestions or feedback please contact us using these two links and thank you for watching the video